Hello and welcome to Kabianga University. Kabianga University is an ISO certified institution. We are at the School of Health Sciences Department of Nursing Sciences. Welcome to Human Anatomy 1. And in this session, we'll be looking at the course outline. The facilitator is me, Thomas Ngamba, the lecturer. And here are my contacts for your consumption. Thank you and let's proceed. So human anatomy is a four unit course and the main purpose of this unit is to enable learners acquire knowledge on the structural organization of the musculoskeletal, the blood, the body fluids, lymphatic, cardiovascular and respiratory systems. Remember that human anatomy is an, a branch of the human biology that you have already covered in high school. So in this case, we'll be focusing on a sub-branch of biology. So what will be your expected learning outcomes? What do you expect to learn from this course? Number one, we expect you to describe anatomical landmarks of the human body outlining the head, neck, thorax, yeah. We also want you to explain the structural organization of the human body. How is the human body organized? We also want you to describe the gross anatomy of the chest cavity, yeah. Its contents, yeah. We also want to know uh, and here you describe the anatomy of the hemopoietic, the blood and the lymphoid tissues. So what will be the course content like? So the course content will be looking at the anatomy of the head, uh, the, 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 the head, the neck, the thorax, the vertebral column, yeah, the upper limbs, you know, the lower limbs. We'll also be reviewing the embryological development, anatomical landmarks, gross anatomy of the different human structures. Number two, we want you to review the embryological development, gross anatomy of the chest wall, mediastinum, and its contents, highlighting the respiratory system, cardiovascular system, lymphatic system, anatomy of the heart and blood vessels. We shall also be looking at embryological development and gross anatomy of the bones, the skeletal muscles, the connective tissues and joints of the body. We'll also be looking at the types of movements, yeah, at the joints, you know, uh, looking at the types of jo joints, uh, type levers, the movers, the control system to understand how the human skeletal happens. We also need to look at the anatomy of the hemopoietic system, uh, outlining the blood and the lymphoid structures. We shall also be looking at blood in details. Remember, you have even covered more content about blood, but you're going to revisit and looking at the structure, composition of the plasma, red blood cells, platelets, white blood cells, and I, it should be fun for us. Lastly, on the course content, we'll be looking at the body fluids, looking at the composition, distribution of, uh, of volumes, so that we can be able to understand the human body. So how will be the mode of delivery for this class? Hello, we are going to have blended classroom lectures. So we're going to have both physical sessions where we are going to be meeting in classes and we'll be face to face. We'll also be having some online classes where we will be able to meet virtually. I've also prepared some virtual demonstrations, okay? We'll be having those demonstrations online and some of them will have to be physical when we meet in class. Remember, we'll also visit the laboratory for practicals, especially our mock at the school, and we'll be looking at the basic structures of the human body. You'll also be required to facilitate some self-directed learning and some group discussion for better understanding and mastery of anatomy. What about the course assessment? Well, we're going to have random assessment tests 
continuous assessment tests, assignments, and end term examinations. So, the random assessment test and the continuous assessment test are going to give you a 50% of your final score. We'll also be having end term examination, which will be out of 100, but will be converted to 50, so that we get the 50 plus the 50, giving you a cumulative a score of 100% at the end of the trimester. What will be your core reading materials? Well, I'll be sharing lecture notes and handouts, which we are going to be going through it to better understand our course. I will also be directing you on guided YouTube videos so that you can study and understand what is really important for you in this session. We'll also be looking at updated journals. So I'll be sharing the list of updated journals, the one that we are supposed to use, but the most common one that we're going to be using is the Academy of, Me of Medical Surgical Nurses. I'll ask you to make sure you visit this website and register so that you can be easily be getting the updates on the same. We'll also be looking at Gray's Anatomy uh, for students, uh, for students, and the whole human anatomy and, and physiology. So, guys, I hope you are excited for this course. Uh, we are going to be having fun over it, and uh, in, in the, at the end of the day, we enjoy the course as, as students. Remember, it is me, Thomas Nambua, the facilitator for this course. Welcome and let's learn together. Thank you.